Hey Virgos. Hey. Hey. Um, this is your bonus reading. This is Danny Moon here. Karen, Paul Girl, whatever you want to call me. Just as long as it's respectful. Uh, this is definitely your um bonus reading. I honestly, Virgos, first let's take this in. Hold your breath for four seconds and let it go. Or five. Spirit, please come in and let's give the Virgos accurate messages, please. Let's give them a bonus reading from last night. Let's play off of what happened last night or for their reading. Or can you please, Spirit, come in and give me anything for them to hear, anything that you want them to hear for life, money, career, and their life purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. So mode it be. Okay, y'all. Self love. Conflict, emotional turmoil, someone's trying to do for somebody but they won't let them. Someone's trying to do for somebody but they won't let them. Doing good for people, doing good for someone, bringing them groceries, elderly, the elderly. Continuing Christmas, staying in the Christmas spirit, loving your spouse, making things right. The trash, something with the trash. Either it's someone's calling someone trash or something's going on with the garbage. Maybe the garbage disposal or the trash. Something with trash. I see a big red heart. Like someone gave someone like a big red heart. A fluffy pillow or candy. Spirit, can you give me some cards for the Virgos now? Something for the Virgos pertaining to love, money, career, finances, or life purpose. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Take them. They said take them. Wow. Okay. Um... Wow. Okay. Okay, Virgos. <laughs> okay, Virgos. Tower moment is going to happen when it happens. That's fine. Just hold it together. Pray. Hold it together. Whatever comes in, spirit is spirit. The universe, God, is about to come in with big changes. Like devastating changes. You're just going to have to hold it together. Virgos, y'all are very, um, let me get my water. Thank you. Um, okay, I wrote some words down last night and I just wanted to Make sure that I was doing the right thing because I did Leo's last night and the Virgo's last night. So I do not want you to get, I do not want to get it confused or anything like that. So pardon me if I call you Leo a few times, but I'm going to try not to. So Virgo, something's happening. Something spirit is going to bring 
something in your life that's going to be a little devastating to you. Spirit is saying, hold it together. Pray, pray at your angels, okay? Can I get some more for the Virgos? Can I get some more for that wanted to come out? Wow. Spirit, can I get some more for the Virgos, please? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, this card's coming out for everybody. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Wow. One more time. Spirit said one more time. One good shuffle. Can I get something for the Virgos, please, Spirit? This is for their bonus reading. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck. Look, the, the wheel of fortune. I tell people when you get this card, it's time for this wheel to go, to move, but it's on you to move the wheel. You have to take action in whatever area in your life, okay? So your first two cards is the Page of Wands, which is a message coming, a very passionate message that is coming your way, okay? Page of Wands. This energy is very enthusiastic, very passionate, um loves loves what they do loves the ideas very creative but it is clarified by the devil the devil is about addictions the devil is also about making a choice but it's more about like it's more about like addictions like something you're holding on to that is not serving you okay something that you maybe you're passionate about that's really spirit is saying it's not good for you it's not the right way to go um or something your idea something that you are passionate about that you want to go forward with um spirit is saying once you release these demons these addictions then you will prosper whatever whatever this passionate message thing that's coming in or that's coming in your head or you might get it in an email or something spirit is saying unless you let this go you could be addicted to cigarettes you could be addicted to wearing the same socks every day it could be anything only you know your story after that you have the knight of pentacles which is the slowest moving horse in the deck but it's the most brilliant horse in the deck the reason being is because it thinks about this knight thinks about everything he does before he does it he has clarity he knows which way he's going all the other horses in the knights and the pages and everything else they're always on the move always on the go you could miss the target like that this knight will never miss his target and at the end of the day it's it's a, it's a little bit of money but the money is coming in for you, Virgos. And then you have another one down here. You have the King of Pentacles. So this is this this Knight of Pentacles is being clarified by the King of Pentacles because that's showing me that you are very you are thinking about what you're going to do. You're strategizing because you know at the end you're coming into this the King of Pentacles, which is stableness, which is maybe even a little bit of abundance right choices that you're making you're very direct you know exactly where you want to be and where you want to go but spirit is saying none of that will happen if you don't get out of your head you feel trapped for some reason you could feel trapped at a job trapped in a relationship trapped in your own thoughts spirit is saying virgo let it go there's no knots in this rope 
There's no knots in that in that blindfold. You can easily get out of this rope and take that blindfold off. You're trapping yourself. And what's clarifying it is the nine of wands. Like, Spirit is saying, you went through a lot. So that's what you're dwelling on. Like, you went through a lot. Spirit knows, but you're at a nine here. Like, you got one more obstacle, one more thing, and you will be on the road to success. You'll be on the road to abundance. But you got to get out of your own head. Okay, you got to keep going. There's a struggle happening here with y'all Virgo. Something's going on and you, you, but the good thing about it is that you keep getting up. You a fighter. This is the, um, wounded warrior card. So that means you wounded, but you a warrior. You're on top. You keep getting up, but don't let your mind stop you from doing what you're doing. After that, you have temperance, temperance upright. Now, the Leo's got this in reverse, so this could be, maybe you could be with a Leo, or maybe a Leo is cross-watching a Virgo, who knows, um, but this is temperance, this means balance, this means patience, this is a great card, like, you um, are starting to get it together, maybe by being trapped in your head, you're thinking about what you need, and what you what you need and what you have, you know, instead of like your wants and your desires, because that's what the, the devil is about is your wants and your desires that won't get you anywhere. So what's clarifying this temperance card is the lovers. So this is telling me like, this could be about a relationship. Maybe you are drinking too much. Maybe you are addicted to something that your partner doesn't want you to be addicted to. Maybe there's a third party involved that you're addicted to the sex maybe there's maybe it's something that I don't know what it is only you know you know what I'm saying but this lover's card is showing me that one you need to make a choice there's a choice somewhere is there a third party involved make the right choice okay um spirit is saying you need to be patient which you are you're being very patient when it comes to this relationship um but while you're being patient, you need to not be trapped in your head about it. You need to make a choice. And Spirit says you know what choice to make. As after this reading, there we go. After this reading, you will know what choice to make. You will know which direction to go. And what's what the next card you got is the Five of Cups, which Leo got this too. This is the Woe It's Me card. Who, well, who got time to, well, it's me. Nobody got time for that. You looking at what you had or what that relationship had and what it lost and you crying about it. If you turn around, spirit is giving you clarity. Spirit is, spirit is giving you communication. Spirit is telling me that you know exactly what to do because what is clarifying this card is the three of wands. And the three of wands is now you are out of this energy and you are now here. This means you are waiting for your ships to come in. You know exactly what to do. You're contemplating, contemplating, but you know exactly what to do. You're not contemplating anymore. And as soon as you make, as soon as your ships come in, as soon as you make a decision, because Spirit said you already know. Two of Wands is contemplating, oh, I don't know what to do. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? Three of Wands means you know. And now that you know, step into this Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune doesn't mean money. It could mean money. You could be stepping into some lotto money, some big money, some inheritance, something like that. But th this wheel just means prosperity and, and abundance and happiness internally for you. Things are going to start going in the way that you want it. But you have to move. You have to get out of this energy. And you have to definitely make a choice. That was good. Let's get some more. Spirit, can you give me some more for the Virgos, please? Can you give me some more for the Virgos, please, for their bonus reading? For love, money, career, finance. Thank you, Spirit. King of Cups. 
I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made, but emotionally you are like drawn into whatever you're in. You're sitting like these feelings. This is the king. This is like emotional, uh, emotionally stable. But right now I don't feel like you're too emotionally stable. Spirit is telling you to embody this. Get your emotions together so that you can make a choice about whatever this is. I think it's more of a relationship, more than your money. Bottom of the deck. Spirit says you hear the call. Spirit says they're talking to you. Spirit says you know what's up. You know what's up. Can I get some more for the Virgos, please? Can I get some more for the Virgos, please? Can you tell me anything more about these Virgos and what they're going through? The answer is yes. That's what Spirit is telling me. The answer is yes. Take a leap of faith. Spirit says that you're undecided about something, but you really know you're leaning more towards one way. Spirit said take a leap of faith that way. The answer is yes. I don't know what that means, but the answer is yes. Is this about an ex? Is that somebody coming to you in, from your past? Is somebody coming from your past that's interrupting your new relationship? Is somebody coming from the past that you're with and somebody else is coming in? I don't know. But that's what Six of Cups means. Nostalgia means the past. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. For the Virgos, Spirit. Can you give me something for the Virgos? Split the deck. Split the deck. Split the deck. Split the deck. Clarity. Spirit is trying to give you clarity. With this reading, Spirit is trying to give you clarity. You fearful. This is the second time I got the Six of Pentacles. Give and receive. You have to give. You want the universe to give you the answer. You want the universe to give you something. Then you have to give back too. It's a give and receive thing. You have to hear the call that that spirit is trying to tell you. You have to listen to your intuition. You you know what to do. You know what to do. Spirit says you know what to do, but you're scared. See, spirit says, you know what to do because you hear the call, you know, you hear your gut is telling you what to do. This is the second time I got the moon card. You are that scared to make a decision because I think you are fearful of hurting somebody. Was this your reading last night? I can't remember. You know, when I do those readings, y'all, the energy comes and then I don't remember the energy leaves. So... You look back at your other reading, y'all. Five of Swords. This is this is like you trying to get up on you trying to win. You trying to win, but you don't care who you hurting in the process. Maybe this is maybe this is why you don't want to make a decision because you're gonna hurt people in the process. Some could be about kids and stuff. I'm I'm not really sure, but spirit is saying get it together. Spirit say you know what to do. Again, this is an ex coming back. Are you sleeping with the ex? And you don't know what choice to make? Is that what it is? Okay, Spirit, can you give me more for the Virgos, please? Can you give me more for the Virgos, please? Bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles. That's the energy of being stable and knowing exactly what to do. It's about clarity. Oh my God, again, this got to be about an ex. You must be sleeping with an ex, cheating with an ex, doing something with an ex. Like, um... Mm, this is about the past, y'all, coming back into your life. Um, some type of choice that you have to make. Um, Spirit is saying, take a leap of faith on it. 
if you're unhappy, take a leap of faith. Please go back and look at your first video, y'all. I'm not sure if, remember, I did Leos and Virgos last night. So I'm not really sure who. I know I'm doing the Virgo right now. This is the Virgo bonus. But I want you to go back and look at the Vir Virgo last night and see if this is, if if the reading is similar, okay? Bottom of the deck, give or receive. You you gotta, if, if it's two people, you gotta give and receive. You and not in a bad way. I don't get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> Here, y'all. Come on. For the Virgos. Let me. One more. Can I get two more cards for the Virgo spirit? Two more. Two more. Two more. They know that they have to make a decision. And they know which way to go. Just do it. And do it before January, y'all. Do it before January. Choices. Choices. You have choices. You have a decision to make. This is opportunity. This is choices. This is decision. Spirit is saying, make the right one. Spirit says, you know, you know. They already said, they answered yes. And Spirit is saying, take a leap of faith. If you're unhappy, and look, you got the wheel of fortune again. Once you do that, everything will be, everything is going to turn out the right way. Everything is going to turn out the right, the way that it's supposed to. That was an excellent read, I think. I think. Let's give you an angel answer card, please. Spirit, can you please come back in? Even though Spirit never left the building, y'all. Never left the building. Spirit, can you please give them the angel answer card with whatever they're struggling with? Can we please give them accurate messages, please? In Jesus' name, amen. So mote it be. All right, y'all. All right. I'm just shuffling over here and shuffling the cards over here. All right. I got to take that. It's up to you. The decision making is up to you. If you want to get out whatever you in, you in something. You in it deep. I, I You in it deep. You in it deep. It's up to you if you want to get out of it. Spirit, can I get some more, please, for the Collective of Virgo? Can I get some more, please, for the collective of Virgo? Within the next few weeks. Maybe you'll make a decision within the next few weeks. Something is coming to you. Something that could be clarity. That can be decision making. That could be money. That something that God is bringing you within the next few weeks. That could have to, that, that card has to do with your job. You could be getting a pay raise. There's caddy fights going on. There, there's, there's something going on at your job. And it'll come to an end within the next few weeks. Mm. Spirit, can I get some more, please, for the Virgos? For the Virgos? Can I get some more for the Virgos? Can I get some more for the Virgos? Something that they can... They Thank you, Spirit. It's perfect timing. Whatever you just whatever perfect timing, whatever you deciding to do that decision is perfect timing. Do it now. This says in the near future. Something, something is something in the near future. I'm not sure what, but something's coming in the next few weeks. And that could be the next few weeks could be in the near future. Whatever's coming your way. Or maybe that's when you're going to make a decision about whatever you're going to do with these, with this lover's card, with these lovers or whatever, with this past ex or whatever's coming. I don't know, y'all. Y'all got to get it together. Because at the end of the day, I feel like somebody is going to hurt. Eventually, someone's going to hurt. So you might as well just, the situation will improve. Even if somebody does hurt at the end of the day. The situation will improve, but you have to trust. You have to believe in what the Lord is trying to tell you. Let's give you an energy card, please, I hope. 
I don't want to have to read, but usually with these cards, I have to read. Spirit, can you please, and you know my phone cuts off at 33, we're at 24. Um, Spirit, can you please come in and give the Virgos a, a, a energy card, an energy oracle card, so that they know how to move, so that they know how to move in love, money, and career, please. In Jesus' name, amen. Please bring the energy of the Virgos back in, Spirit. Please, please, please. Please tell them something on their life path. Please let the Virgos know something. No, they need to know something. How to get out of this situation. Something with this situation. Attachment. You have attachment to a third party. You have attachments to the third party. You have to let that go. You have to let that go. Yin and yang, balance. You have to let that go. Spirit, can I get another one? This is for the Virgo Virgo Collective, please. Bonus reading. Ooh, the sun. Once you make this decision, Virgos, I promise you, you are gonna get the sun. I think you got the sun in the in the first in the first reading that I just did for you, right? Was it you? Did you get the sun? Or you got the leap of faith, whatever it is. Once you take that leap of faith, I'm telling you, you will prosper. You will prosper. But you're in your head. You got the, that I do know. You got the eight of swords, meaning you're feeling trapped and you are having anxiety. But you're doing this to yourself, is what I'm trying to tell you. What the Spirit is trying to tell you is that now you know, especially after you heard this reading, Spirit is, Spirit is saying, Spirit is saying, you have the strength. You have the strength to get through this. You do. Spirit, can you give them another one, an overall energy card, please? The Virgos, the Virgos. Love, money, career, purposeful life. love money thank you thank you spirit magician and the mirror i'm gonna read it but i can tell you right now the magician has all the resources like you have all the resources to do to make a decision in your job with your career with your spouse you have the resources you know exactly what to do you're smart you're divinely guided if you came to this channel and if you listen throughout this whole message. You know exactly what to do. Spirit says spirit's with you. Spirit is with you. And you know spirit is with you. And you know what to do. You're too busy thinking about the other person. Oh my God, I'm going to let them down. I'm going to hurt them. How, do my, how am I going to do this? Um, and I don't notice the second time I feel like kids might be involved. Even if they're not. Whether well, kids are involved, you have to do for you, Virgo. 53 53 right here stop right here knowing and using your true power did i not say that here we go this card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time i just told you you know spirit is with you you know what to do in the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. The, this highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician. And, the, and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. I told you the resources is in front of you. Spirit is with you. The water is the energy of yin. And, ooh, yin. You had the yin and yang card. Remember I said balance? Um, the water is the energy of yin, the power of spirit and clarity, clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang. That is so crazy. Spirit, ooh, sometimes I doubt myself, y'all, as a reader because I'm new. But 
this energy and this ability is getting stronger and stronger every day. Spirit is definitely in the building. Spirit is definitely telling that you are the magician. You can turn this situation around. You have balance. You have spirit and clarity. It says that the water of the energy of the yin, the power of the spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of the yang, bringing direction and creativity. You could do this. Together they give you and together they give you the magnificent magic of transformation the mirror stands beside the magician reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to your choice um to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have you can use it spirit is saying you can use your power or not if you don't use it you a fool i am sorry to say that but it is the truth. I'm not reading no more because you know it. You know it. And this is my, This is about a relationship, a caring connection. Spirit, can you give us some more, please? More for the Virgos, please? Can you give us some more? Thank you, Spirit. The Temple Path. 12. The, the Temple Path. 11, boom, right to it, y'all, right to it, right to it, almost, <laughs> the temple path, spiritual purpose and support, are you going through something spiritually, you could be going through something spiritually, and this is why it's maybe a little difficult to make a decision, but it shouldn't be because spirit is telling you telling you right now through me that you have the power. You have the power and the grace and the elegance. You have creativity. You have clarity. Spirit is giving it to you. And you know this because you are using your abilities. You are using your gifts. You know it. You're just in a situation so you are acting like you don't know what to do, but you do know what to do. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that what you're going through now is all part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. That's it, Virgo. Spirit just told you exactly. That's it. I don't have no more for you. That's it. That was a great reading. Now you know exactly what to do, okay? In the next few days, in the next, what is it? Next few weeks. Perfect timing. You got this. I love you, Virgos. Danny Moon, you can email me at Moon Danny, M O O N D A N N I, 1976, when I was born, at gmail.com if you want to further this reading with me. Mwah! I love y'all.